All right, we've got a very special go for it story and it actually starts with hair loss. It's really a sensitive topic for people and if you are a child, it's especially harder. In Michigan, there is a woman who is on a mission to not only restore hair, but restore confidence. Shante Passmore shows us why Maggie Varney is our latest go for it award recipient. How often do we think about our hair? If you're losing it, the answer may be different. Here at Maggie's Wigs for Kids, when you step inside, the one thing they want you to focus on, hope is here. Honest to God, it comes in a bag like this. Inside thousands of bags like this, kids are finding confidence. There's no place like this in the world, not just in Michigan. Maggie's Wigs for Kids of Michigan helps children dealing with hair loss. Founder and CEO Maggie Varney is a licensed cosmetologist. For 15 years, she volunteered her time and talent helping adult cancer patients navigate their new appearance following chemotherapy and radiation. In 2003, a teenager battling cancer asked for help. What Varney found, not many places made wigs for children. I say every child doesn't have to have a wig, but every Every child has to have a choice. Last year, the nonprofit received almost 19,000 donations from 68 countries. Varney works with wig companies to customize non processed hair, including wig caps and hair color blends. Later, she cuts the style. A short wig easily runs north of $3,000. The longer the hair, the more expensive. However, the consultation, customization, wig, beauty supplies, and supportive services cost nothing. Any child suffering from hair loss, regardless of hair type, can walk away feeling confident. Yeah, that's a big deal to have natural hairstyles. Isn't it? Yes. It's easy to see why Varney is nominated for a Go For It award. After 21 years, it's still not easy to see a new child in need of her service. They really don't want to be here. Um, they can't, they don't even make eye contact with you when they first come in. Sometimes the first visit turns into tea time or play time in the kids room. It may take multiple visits before a child warms up to the idea. Yet when they walk out the door, there's a shift. Their health may be under attack, but never their hope. After more than 20 years, you can still see the passion behind the work. 5,400, that's the number of wigs that children have received since entering through these doors. And the work is far from over. There are plans to expand. In St. Clair Shores, Shante Passmore, Local 4. All right, so this is the really big moment. I am so glad you're here, Maggie. Oh, thank thank you. you so thank much. You. So this is Maggie Barter. She's from Wigs for Kids. We appreciate you being here. We have an award. And Laura uh, from Gilbert Family Foundation on behalf of the Gilbert Family Foundation, Masco Corporation, Henry Ford, and of course Local 4 would like to present you this Go For It Award. Yes, Maggie, thank you so much for everything that you're doing to support kids, especially at such a critical time in their lives. We so appreciate it, and on behalf of the Gilbert Family Foundation and WDIV, I'm very pleased to present you this honor. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. When we were playing your story, Maggie, I thought what caught my eye, and I know when we were playing it, right, we kind of got choked up because I feel like when these kids have this opportunity to, you know, you're helping them, it still is hard. Oh, it it's is. It's so hard. I mean, they're grateful, but at the same time, it, it's hard to make that change and, and put that wig on because they don't want to lose their hair. Right. They don't want to be sick and they don't want to be there, but they're certainly grateful and appreciative that they have that kind of support and help. But it is through the grace of God and the kindness of people. Thank you so much for this wonderful award, but we know who the real heroes are. Most definitely. I want to say though, I think it's important to kind of shine the light on what you're doing here because it also gets other people inspired of to course. help. And oh, when, when you see those families walk out, what, what does that feel like for you? Well, it's a blessing to know that for this little bit of time that we could make a difference in their lives. And it, like I said, it is through the help that we receive. And this is monumental. Right. You know, this outreach, every time we have a chance to have this kind of exposure, we get a lot more kids. We work with all eight hospitals. Mm -hmm. and, but, you know, we try to reach everybody, but it's, it's impossible. But right. this is a wonderful opportunity. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I know you've seen two things, Laura. I, I think there's a lot of people 
people and families that need help. And I guess we sometimes don't realize how many families mm. need this. Don't you agree? Yes, 100%. There's so many resources out there, but people often don't know where to look. And so it's, it's mm. people like Maggie yeah. and, of course, the platforms like this that allow us to yes. tell stories that are so important. So let's get to the nitty gritty. We need people to help and volunteer and make donations. Absolutely. So what was, I was looking, is it 10 to 12 ponytails that make a wig? To make one wig. Okay. Yes. So if you want to donate your hair. You can do that. You know, but it has to be virgin hair. We only use virgin hair for children. Okay. You know, because the wigs have to hold up well. When you're right. a child and you're diagnosed with cancer, they're in treatment three to five years. They get a new wig every year. And through all of our wonderful hair donors, we have been able to provide over 5,400 wigs oh, for these kids. That's great. So, and thank you. Thank you, all of you, for doing that. And we're always looking for great volunteers. Okay. You well, know? Put, that, put the word out. And our website. You I know, know, you've got a good website. Yes. I was checking have, that out. We have right? our annual. Yeah, it's great. Really, I really, it's very friendly. I like we have it. our annual gala coming up in okay. September, you know, uh, September 10th. And okay. so we still have tickets available. But well, we'll make sure we get that information out. We okay. appreciate all you do. You oh, seriously you. exemplify. Oh, Go you. for it. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. We thank appreciate it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank, thank you. All right, we'll send it over to you, Devon.